top three skills that helped me become a software engineer at Microsoft at the age of 17. Number one is networking. This is probably the most common advice you've heard, but this is the most undervalued advice. If you want to get in to any phase of life, if you want to level up, you do that by connections, by opportunities that you get from people. Because you never know, you may run into someone that can change your whole life, that can maybe provide a door for you, an opportunity for you, that can change everything. So networking is super important. In, co- in, in high school, in, co- in middle school, in high school, in college, whatever, wherever you are, if you're watching this video, you're a working professional, you have a family, you're an, like an elder person, wherever you are, networking is the most valuable thing that you can do. Try to meet new people. Try to meet new people, one, in your own genre, in your own area of work. So say you're a student, um, you want to say you like go into the tech industry or you want to create a business. You want to meet like entrepreneur type minded people. Go to like entrepreneur type minded events. Go to like online meetups. There's so many online like um uh, networks now that you can follow like on discord um, there's a lot of plenty of discord groups that you can join if you guys want to network with me like talk to me one to one like just me and you on a call I have a link in the description down below that you guys can check out like just book a time and like I'll be happy to answer any question or just talk to you as like a, a virtual friend um, you can do that as well but yeah but network that is super important the second skill is communication I think a lot of people uh, miss this part, which is communication. Whenever you reach a certain level of competency, a certain level of mastery, a certain level of status in any field, whether that's like the health field in the medical community, whether that's like, you know, business owners, whether that's like being um, an industry leader, like an engineering manager, whatever, whatever that is, communication is key. And the way you develop the skill of communication is by knowing two rules. One, less is more. Less is always more. The, the lesser you speak, like the more it is. Like try to be as concise as possible and as direct as possible. One thing that you notice, and this is something that I've observed as well, is there's so many different type of people, like um, understandings within people. Like say I, 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 I say something, like I try to be funny. Uh, in a in a room of 10 people that I've interacted with in my like experience so far a couple of them will laugh for a different reason a couple of them might not even get the joke a couple of them like the sarcasm will just fly on top of their head or wherever that is the point I'm trying to make and and, and this is ironic because I'm talking about communication but the point I'm trying to make is that try to be as concise as possible and also the second rule is try to appeal to people um adapt your communication style uh, to the way um whoever your audience is you're speaking to a younger audience try to use like some um like up and coming trendy cultural references try to appeal to those people if you're using if you're talking to a mature audience try to appeal to those try to be like just use simple direct word like no slang Uh, if you're talking to young people try to use a bit of slang like try to make them relate to you This is the second principle and this is the most important. And this is I felt which has um, helped me a lot in my journey so far is appealing and adapting the way I talk, the way I present myself to whoever's in front of me. And you may never know like who the person is. They might like change your life, bring you an opportunity. So always be on the guard, always have the critical eye open of observing people. Like, okay, um, this type of people, they make, a, they're like this uh, uplifting, like funny type character. They try to make jokes or like try to appeal to them, try to like match their energy. Whereas this other person, uh, they're trying to, they're a bit serious, they're a bit direct. Okay, match their level of um, understanding uh, and uh, try to appeal, try to make them relate to you in any way. So that's communication. The third important and the most underrated skill is adaptability is having a growth mindset. And this is something like Microsoft is super big on growth mindset. Uh, This essentially means that you are willing to accept unexpected changes and change the way you think to improve in the future. Because a lot of people, they live in this fixed mindset, whether that's like, um, say they learn, okay, uh, you want to make money. You go online, ways to make money. Um, someone tells you like four business ideas. Okay, try drop shipping. Try this. Try affiliate marketing. Do this. Do this. In your head, um, if you have any type of bias, like okay, I, oh I can't do this. I can't do that. Okay, maybe I know this will work. That itself is what like, and this is I'm just a, using a super rough like the random example. This is a fixed mindset. Like you're fixed on something. You're not taking in new information. Um, you're resisting taking in new information, whether that's 
negative information, positive information. Try to have a growth mindset. Try to have a mindset where you're, you're adapting, but you but you stand on like core principles, and those core principles are your beliefs, your worldview, which is number one. Um, what you think is ultimately the purpose of everything, and I'll, I'll create like separate videos on all this. Um, but the first thing is like what your essential purpose is, um, whether that's helping people, um, trying to amass stuff for yourself, whatever that is, that should be like this one tenant, that this one pillar that shouldn't change. Everything else, all the information around it, in order to support that goal, can change. But long story short. Try to adapt your thinking. Try to be accepting of change. Like, just keep this mindset. And this is something that I'll end the video with: is there's no losses, only lessons. Like, this is such a beautiful quote: is you either win or you learn. That's it. Like, you you never really lose. So just try to be that type of mindset. Say you try something new, uh, you failed. Okay, good. And now. Let's try it again, but this time you're starting off with the previous uh, existing knowledge. And honestly, like any developer you talk to, like this is like their a day in a life. Like they try a hundred different things, they don't work. Now they try another thing, but they have the knowledge of those a hundred that they're building on top of. And yeah, so that was about it. The three skills that helped me, and these are non-technical skills. So these are skills that can help you in any endeavor of life, any field of life. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. And again, if you want to talk one to one, I have a link in the description down below that you guys can check out. And yeah, that's about it. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.